Today we open a £30 mystery box named the Brexit Box by The Spider Shop. and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. You're still looking at me every time I do that. It's really oh weird. Sorry. Stop it. <laughs> so we're opening our £30 Brexit box, mystery box from the spy shop today. I would like to say let's have a guess at what's in there, but you still know pretty much next to nothing yeah. when it comes to spiders. So She's, although she's lived with me, she's very, very new to spider keeping. Aside from seeing me feed a few, you couldn't just point at one and tell me the exact species. I had to cut that because I've still got a cough. You couldn't tell me like an exact species. You couldn't sit there and go, I'm going to guess that this is in this box because yeah. of values and things. So I'm going to name a few that I think might be in this box. You can kind of listen to that and then over time, you might be able to make guesses in the future. So for £30... I've had a £30 box years ago that contained four spiders. That doesn't mean that this one will. It doesn't even mean it will contain all spiders either. So, but if I was going to guess spiders, we're going to go cheap end. Real cheap end. Because say there is four in there, mystery box value bumped up, say it bumped up by a tenner, that would make them £10 spiders only. So we're looking at cheap things, like your curly hairs, like your LPs, like your NCs. Maybe even something like Nandu Chromatis, which is what you kept looking I, at yeah, keep at the show. It. We're not sure. Now, I'm hoping to keep terrestrials. I'm trying to cut down on arboreals. And some fossorials don't interest me as much. Your, your proper fossorials, where you literally see nothing but an enclosure of mud, is not that interesting to me. So what I'm going to be doing is anything that I want to keep, obviously I'll keep. Anything Danielle may want to keep herself, she can keep. And anything else is going into our sell pile. So I'm hoping to sell next year surplus stock of what I already have. And it'll just be things added to that one if they're spiders I really don't want. But they won't be for sale now because um, you may grow attached to one because that happens over time. You might like one now and then not like it later or vice versa. You might be like, oh, no, I don't like that now. And then some col colours come in and you're like, you know what, I've got attached to this spider. So... Yeah. We're not going to sell anything now, we'll grow them on for when I do sell next year. Now, as I open this box, I will let you know, there is going to be a video coming out for my patrons, or a video about my pa Patreon, where I'm going to be doing a really, really good uh, perk for it, which in involves discounts at shows of cer certain, certain surplus stock. So, it will be a thing where you have to be a patron for a while, so if you don't want to miss out on what that will be in the future, you're welcome to sign up for as little as £2 a month. Um, and you don't need to be a high tier to get these certain discounts either. So just bear that in mind. Okay. So. We can't see anything yet. There is a rounder tub. Packing peanuts. Now if they are all spiders, they tend to do one or two uh, slings and then a juvenile if they're doing the boxes the same as they did a long time ago but we could have anything in here we could have millipedes we could have scorpions now brexit box i have no idea what that will relate to i didn't even know they all had names when i picked them up <laughs> yeah you, this was danielle just picked this one up didn't know <laughs> i have seen other youtubers open ones called brexit box but i can't remember what, what was in them um it could be based on color red white and blue for uk it could be based on stuff that's really common in the in the UK market or it could be the opposite it could be something that's more common in the European market but because we've left there putting it in here as a brexit box who knows so I think we'll put our hands in I think we'll take it in turns putting our hands in pulling out a pot and then we'll look at it so do you want to go first or do you want me to go first before we continue this video did you know that bug realms is affiliated with the spider shop so when you next need a stunning new tarantula some healthy live food, well needed equipment, or just in the market for something unusual, please head over to the spider shop via my personal and unique link in the description below. This won't cost you anything extra, but it gives me a little back in return for your loyalty. Thanks guys. 
Now back to the video. You're going to go for the big one, aren't you? Trust you to go for the big one first. Oh, it is a spider. We can see that it's a spider. Uh, I can't read that right in. So that says P. Cambridgei. So that's Salmopius Cambridgei, juvenile. So uh, Cambridgei are an arboreal tarantula. I have an adult female sat in that room and I also have one about half the size of this one growing on there as well. So if this one's male, I may keep it, but it depends if my sling is male as well, because if so, I'll keep the sling because I've raised it for longer. So one of my Cambridge eye, if not all of them by then, are end up gonna, going to be going for sale. Okay, my turn. Oh, okay, we've got millipedes. Oh, cool. Ocal gold millipedes. I'll have to put scientific name on the screen. I don't know much about millipedes still yet. Ooh, they're pretty. Yeah, we've got two in there. They're a nice medium sized looking millipede. Hello, millipede. Both alive and well. And possibly. You need your eyeballs. I think we've got a male and female there, I think. Right, so I'm not sure, is there anything else left in there? If there is, I can see one down there as well. So there's at least two more things left in this no. box. Two more after I've taken this out. Really? Okay, we've done well there then. Uh, spinifer, H, H spinifer. spinifer. Oh, so it's that's a, a heterometrist, yes, it's a scorpion. So that's an Asian forest variety of scorpion. Like the black one that I have in there, but this one obviously be a lot smaller. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, it's a babby. Oh, it's a proper babby. Oh, look at you. Interesting. Okay, so we've got one spider, two millipedes, and one scorpion. That's interesting. What's going on there? There's a worm. I've trapped a oh worm. Oh my god. Is I'm it sorry. a baby? Oh, you squished it. There was a worm in our pot of millipedes and I crushed it in the lid. Just a normal earthworm, it's not a baby millipede before people start worrying. I, I was wondering. No, that's Just a worm. An I'm sorry, worm. Good. Right, is it my turn? Yeah. Right, so there's one to the left, one to the right. Close your eyes. Oh, you already know which direction. Oh, I know which direction to go. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll get the one closest to me then. That's on the left. So it's a sling pot. It's an Acanthoscuria geniculata, really tiny baby sling. Oh. So they have, um, as they're growing, they have similar looks to Nandu chromatus. So you'll have a similar looking one there. Now I've kept, uh, I've kept Agens before. Not one I particularly care about keeping, so it might go in a sale pile unless you decide you like that, but it is dinky right now. So you'll definitely have to grow that on. Ooh, the scorpion's moving around. Yeah, it's an animal. Just gonna check there's nothing else in here while you do that. This, this is a teeny new one. Okay. Oh, I can't I think so. Okay, cool. It's really right, small. Yeah, 0 0.5 centimeters. centimeters, yeah. So there's a dwarf species that I've never kept before. So we have a winner for that one. So this is one we're definitely gonna keep. Um, I think I'll just feed it springtails because there's not really any prey items I have that are that small. So we were right in the fact that we got one juvenile tarantula and a couple of slings, but then he obviously added in two millipedes, half a dead worm, and uh, a small baby scorpion too. So that's pretty cool. So which is your favorite that you've seen here? Uh, these. The millipedes? Yeah. Okay. So we don't do particularly great with millipedes. We're still trying to learn. Um, oh, some of the shoe. bulk that we bought, like bought before shoe. are not doing as well and some are doing okay. So we're still learning with that. But yeah, cool. I think I'll have to rehouse this one for you because they're quick. And our boreals, because they live up high, they, they, they will run yeah. up. So I already knew that. Yeah. All Which right. is why as soon as I asked that stupid question, I realised it was a stupid question because you'd already told me and I remembered. 
<laughs> it's fine. That's the fun of learning. It's the fun of learning. Okay, so my favourite, I think, will probably end up being the the Cochano Bruna Peas, just because I've never had it. So I didn't expect to have a single thing in this £30 mystery box that I've never kept before, tarantula-wise. And we do. So that's fantastic. All right, we're going to end this video here then. We have more mystery boxes from our Southern Invert Show pickup that are going to be happening weekly, every Sunday. So we still have a £50 box from Portsmouth Tarantulas. We still have a £60 Gimp box from the Spider Shop. And we have a £100 uh, mystery box from <laughs> Portsmouth Tarantulas. Yeah, yeah, me too. Okay, cool. I'm going to end that video then. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.